Have you ever wondered how the United States became a leader in space exploration so quickly after World War II? Today, we delve into a clandestine operation that played a significant role in this achievement, Operation Paperclip. In the aftermath of the Second World War, a hidden conflict was brewing, a war not fought with bullets and bombs but with knowledge and innovation. This was the Cold War, an unseen war where the US and the Soviet Union were the main actors. The race for technological supremacy was on, and space was the final frontier. In this quest for dominance, the United States launched Operation Paperclip, a covert program under the Joint Intelligence Objectives Agency. A team of special agents from the Army CIC were tasked with an assignment that seemed more like a plot from a spy thriller than a chapter in a history book. Their mission? To recruit the brightest minds from the defeated enemy, Nazi Germany, yes you heard that right, in a twist that would make even the most imaginative novelist blush, the United States was actively seeking out and recruiting scientists from the very regime it had just helped topple. But why? Well it was a simple case of pragmatism, the Germans had been pioneers in rocket technology, and their expertise was seen as crucial in the race to conquer space. However, this was a covert operation for a reason. The recruitment of former Nazis was a highly contentious issue fraught with moral and ethical dilemmas. The US government was well aware of the potential backlash, hence the need for secrecy. In the coming scenes, we'll delve deeper into the genesis of Operation Paperclip, the recruitment process, the controversy it sparked, its impact, and the legacy it left behind. This operation was more than just a program, it was a complex web where science, espionage, and morality danced an intricate and secretive dance. This is the story of Operation Paperclip where science, espionage, and morality intertwined in a secretive dance. As World War II was drawing to a close, a new kind of conflict was taking shape. This was not a battle of bullets and bombs, this was a war of minds and ideas. The United States, standing victorious yet wary, recognized a crucial opportunity. The objective? To secure the intellectual spoils of war before their burgeoning adversary, the Soviet Union, could lay claim to them. Thus, the seeds of Operation Paperclip were sown. In the twilight of the Second World War, Germany was a treasure trove of scientific prowess. The country's advancements in rocketry, physics, and other fields were unrivaled, and the United States knew the value they held. This was a race against time, a scramble to secure German scientific knowledge and personnel. Among the key figures involved in initiating this clandestine program was Major Robert B. Staver, a U.S. military intelligence officer. Staver was instrumental in identifying and recruiting German scientists for employment by the United States, a task as daunting as it was crucial. Also involved was John J. McCloy, a lawyer and later U.S. High Commissioner for Germany. McCloy's role was pivotal in negotiating the legal and political hurdles that such an operation inevitably faced. His efforts ensured that Operation Paperclip was not just a covert mission but a legitimate, government-sanctioned initiative. But Operation Paperclip was not without its controversies. The scientists it sought to recruit were not just brilliant minds, many were also fervent Nazis with histories steeped in war crimes and human rights abuses. The ethical and moral implications of this were profound, yet they were often overlooked in the name of national security. The stage was set for what would become one of the most clandestine operations in U.S. history, a mission not of conquest, but of acquisition. Not for territory, but for the minds that could shape the future of a nation. It was a game of chess played on a global stage, and the United States was determined to make the first decisive move. Imagine being a scientist in post-war Germany, and a foreign agent approaches you with an offer. Picture the scene. The world had just emerged from the ravages of the Second World War. Germany, once a beacon of scientific and technological prowess, lay in ruins. Yet, amidst this devastation, a secret mission was underway. A mission that would alter the trajectory of global scientific advancement for decades to come. This mission was Operation Paperclip, an audacious project by the United States to recruit German scientists, engineers, and technicians. These were not just any scientists, mind you. Many of them had been instrumental in developing cutting-edge technologies for the Third Reich, including the infamous V-2 rockets that had once rained terror on London. But how did the recruitment process work? Well, it was far from straightforward. 
American agents would approach these German scientists with an enticing offer, a chance to continue their work in the United States, away from the rubble and ruin of their homeland. They were promised a fresh start, a chance to pursue their scientific dreams without the shadow of war hanging over them. Yet the process was fraught with challenges, language barriers, cultural differences, and the lingering specter of Nazism all posed significant hurdles. But perhaps the greatest challenge was the moral and ethical quandary it posed. After all, these were men who had willingly served a regime that had perpetrated unspeakable atrocities. Despite these challenges, many scientists were successfully recruited. Among them were notable figures like Werner von Braun, the architect of the V-2 rocket program, and Arthur Rudolph, a key player in the development of the Saturn V rocket that would eventually propel humans to the moon. Thus began a journey that would forever change the course of history. But what happens when the pursuit of knowledge shadows over the pursuit of justice? In the heart of Operation Paperclip lies a controversy that still stirs debate among historians, ethicists, and the public alike. The operation, aimed at harnessing the intellectual prowess of Nazi scientists for the benefit of the United States, raised ethical questions that were and are difficult to answer. The controversy revolves around the moral implications of the operation. On one hand, Operation Paperclip was a strategic move to secure the United States' position in the Cold War. It was a race against time, a race against the Soviet Union, and a race for technological supremacy. In this context, the operation was seen as a necessary evil. On the other hand, this pursuit of knowledge and power came at a heavy price. Many of the scientists recruited had been active members of the Nazi party. Some were even involved in war crimes, human experimentation, and the Holocaust. The operation essentially provided these individuals with a fresh start, a clean slate, overlooking their past in the name of national security and scientific progress. The ethical dilemmas faced by those involved were immense. Imagine being in their shoes, having to weigh the potential benefits of the operation against the moral cost. It wasn't just about recruiting scientists. It was about whether to forgive the unforgivable, to ignore the atrocities committed in the past, for the promise of a safer future. The controversy of Operation Paperclip is a reminder of the complexity of human morality. It shows us that decisions made in the name of national security can sometimes overshadow the pursuit of justice. It serves as a testament to the lengths nations are willing to go in the name of progress even when it means blurring the lines of right and wrong. The lines between right and wrong became blurred in the name of progress and national security. In the grand chessboard of geopolitics, every move has its consequences. As we delve into the impacts of Operation Paperclip, let's remember that this covert project was not just a game of clandestine recruitment, but a bold gambit that would shape the world in profound ways. Operation Paperclip's influence was most evident in the space race. The United States and the Soviet Union, two superpowers locked in the Cold War, were in a frenzied race to conquer the final frontier. The scientists brought over through Operation Paperclip played pivotal roles in this saga, with men like Werner von Braun leading the design and development of the Saturn V rocket that would eventually land Neil Armstrong on the moon. But the impact of Operation Paperclip wasn't confined to space. It had a profound effect on the Cold War itself. By acquiring a treasure trove of scientific knowledge and expertise, the United States gained a significant advantage in this protracted conflict. The scientists of Operation Paperclip were instrumental in developing advanced weapon systems, ballistic missiles, and even early iterations of stealth technology. Beyond the geopolitical theater, Operation Paperclip propelled the United States to a position of global scientific leadership. The influx of European scientific minds brought with them a wealth of knowledge that influenced American research and innovation. Their work laid the groundwork for many technological advancements we take for granted today, from satellite technology to the internet. Yet the operation's impact was not without its controversies. As we've seen, it was a double-edged sword, a trade-off between ethical dilemmas and scientific advancement. The decision to whitewash the pasts of some of these scientists has left a lasting legacy, one that still sparks debate today. The ripples of Operation Paperclip are still felt today in ways we often don't realize. It's a testament to the fact that in the grand game of geopolitics, every move, every decision has far-reaching consequences. Behind every great achievement, there lies a story untold. As we delve into the legacy of Operation Paperclip, 
we uncover a narrative that's etched into the annals of history, shaping not only the course of the 20th century but also the trajectory of modern espionage, science and technology. The operation was a game changer, a clandestine venture that pushed the boundaries of what was deemed permissible in the quest for knowledge and power. It was a testament to the lengths to which nations would go to secure an advantage, to claim the high ground in the arena of global supremacy. In the realms of science and technology, the legacy of Operation Paperclip is palpable. The operation's recruits played a crucial role in the development of rocket technology, laying the groundwork for the space race that would follow. The technological advancements propelled by these scientists changed the face of warfare, paving the way for the era of intercontinental ballistic missiles. However, the legacy of Operation Paperclip extends beyond the realm of science and technology. It also left its mark on the world of espionage and intelligence. The operation highlighted the importance of human intelligence, of having boots on the ground, so to speak. It demonstrated the value of information, of knowledge, in the grand scheme of geopolitics. Yet this legacy is not without its controversies. The operation brought to light the ethical dilemmas faced in the pursuit of knowledge and power. The recruitment of former Nazi scientists, some with dark pasts, raised questions about the lengths nations were willing to go in the quest for supremacy. It's a legacy that continues to resonate today, reminding us of the blurred lines between right and wrong, the delicate balance between ethics and progress, and the complex interplay of power, knowledge, and morality. Operation Paperclip, a testament to the lengths nations will go in the quest for supremacy. So, was Operation Paperclip a necessary evil or a dark stain on history? It's a question that invites contemplation, doesn't it? We've journeyed through the genesis of this clandestine operation, the recruitment of German scientists post-World War II, the controversy it stirred and its undeniable impact. This operation, shrouded in mystery, has left a legacy that continues to influence our world. It propelled scientific advancement, yes, but at what cost? It's a story of ethics clashing with progress, a tale of war secrets, and hidden agendas, yet it's also a story of human intellect, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The ripples of Operation Paperclip have traveled through time, leaving us to grapple with its consequences, its moral implications, and its lasting impact on our everyday lives. Thank you very much for watching our documentaries. Subscribe to learn more about different times in history every single day and become the most interesting person in the room. Thank you.